Hey everyone, FPS Chazzle here, and welcome to the introduction to TMA tutorial. I'm just going to show you what everything means. I'm not going to really focus on trying to make solutions just yet. That'll be for the advanced tutorial. So, wow, there's a lot of stuff going on here, huh? So, this is the TMA display. Uh, this is your own ship. And then this is, uh, like on the nav map, history dots. So, these are all lines of bearing that we have on one contact here, Sierra 1. So, using these lines of bearing, um, you can figure out a ship's position, course, and speed. So, uh, let's see, where do I want to start here? So you got lots of readouts. I don't really look at any of this stuff. I mean, it, it does tell you like what the range is of your, of your pointer, which can be useful sometimes for figuring out solutions and the bearing output. Um, plot controls, you can use the arrow keys as long as your mouse is, um, well, as long as you're just active in this window. I think you can center on ruler. So yeah, if you center on ruler, just the screen stays centered on the, uh, on this here, this is called the ruler. But uh, I just like to use the arrow keys to pan around here in the mouse wheel. I don't really click these. Uh, going through here, you can select all available contacts. This is where you make master contacts. So let's see here. We have the Ticonderoga. We have him on two different sensors here. We have him on the conformal and the spherical. Uh, spherical is white, and then conformal is this blue, I think. Yeah, and then I think the toad is like purple or pink. So uh, yeah, using the color you can figure out what sensor it's from, but we can merge these guys into a master contact, Sierra 3, Sierra 4. And uh, a master contact is better than just a Sierra contact because it means you have more data. So it means uh, helps uh, narrow down solutions and stuff like that. Uh, this is where you can also drop contacts, but you can also drop it on the main screen here by doing Control shift d And uh, you can also um, split contacts, so if you merge um, Two, two sources that you thought were the same, they were from the same ship or whatever, but they're actually not. Um, I'll show you how to figure that out at one point. It's really not that bad. But if you if you mess it up, you can split them. Uh, so if you don't have to like drop the master and start over, you can just split the tracks. So down here, this is um, this will output what the co what the current ruler is saying in terms of solution down here. It'll output output what it's saying, but you can also um, like manually set these. So if we knew what its range was, say we knew its range was 15,000, you can just click this here and it'll let you manipulate the ruler without um, losing that range setting. So if you, the more variables of these you know, so we could figure out range through the periscope and speed through the demon. So if we lock those two down, we pretty much, and we have bearing, you're always gonna have bearing, don't worry about, I know it's listed here as a variable, but we pretty much only have three unknowns, you'll always have bearing. So if you know range and speed, you got course. There's only one variable left to solve. So uh, that's how that works. So um, it's good to try and nail down that as much as possible. But you know, I'll be getting into that more later, and stuff like that. So this is just what the screen is currently saying, and then over here is what the solution actually is. So if we enter this, then this guy actually has like a solution now, and he's no longer you know just uh, with the line that only shows bearing data, but that's like an actual solution now. So let me come up into the mechanics of this again. So these are all the lines of bearing. And uh, you can change the time history you got here. You got 10 minute, 20 minute. Um, so if you got a contact that's really like maneuvering around really quickly, you might want to stay in the 10 minute interval. If you got a merchant man that's just chugging along for a long time, you know you might want to turn on the hour long interval, and that'll really help you set up a good solution. You know if he's just going constant speed, constant course. But 20 minutes is a good one here. And up here, this is also very important. This is the stack. So I guess minus four and plus four. I think that's bearing or bearing degrees how much off it is so basically for you to have a good solution um, you want all these dots to be lining up so um, the dot at the top is the most recent uh, that's the most recent line of bearing here so as you manipulate this around you can see that the the lines um, tend to uh, or the dots will shift off to the side by plus or minus bearing or whatever uh, this will change based on zoom level so obviously the further you get in the more resolution you have so it's easier to tell like what a what a solution should look like on here. Um, but yeah, so as a rule of thumb, if you've got a contact that's going in a straight line, all these dots should be right up here on the stack. If you got a, a, a ship that's like uh, you know changing course, um, not all of them are gonna line up just because you know he changed course. I'll get into more how all this pieces together later. I like I said, I just want to get over. I just want to go over the basics and make sure everyone understands this interface here so you got the ruler this is uh, supposed to show what the ship is doing um, it, it, it shows speed on here based on a uh, you know the 
the difference between the lines of bearing. So, you know, bigger speed will have di bigger difference in it. I'm kind of just rambling here. Uh, yeah, own ship, lines of bearing, newest ones at the top, newest ones right behind you. Shows your history. And, uh, yeah, I think that's uh, about all I want to show for this tutorial here. Like I said, I'm just trying to go over the interface. I'm not getting into how to work any of this stuff yet. But, uh, yeah, so this wraps up the conclusion of the basic tutorials going over the interface. Um, yeah, next up we'll have advanced tutorials. I think we'll start, uh, let's see here. I think we'll start by, uh, yeah, classifying contacts and making solutions. So stay tuned for next Sunday. We'll be getting into that, making your first solutions. So thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you guys then. Uh, make sure you watch this video a few times, really get familiar with the interface here, because um, I'll probably reiterate some of that stuff in a later video, so you should be fine. But yeah, see you guys then. Thanks for watching, and make sure to tune in for the rest of my series.